With the new expansion right around the corner, that means set rotation is approaching, and that means that we will have to say goodbye to all the quest lines from United and Stormwind. Which is mostly a pretty great thing, I would say. But I did want to give the Paladin quest line one last shot before it rotates. So if you're not familiar with Rise to the Occasion, basically we want to just play a bunch of one cost cards throughout the game, and eventually our hero power becomes two mana, make two three threes, which is quite strong. But I wanted to do something a little bit spicy with this quest paladin list, and make it a pure paladin. So that means for the late game we get to play the Countess, which can help us generate some legendaries to close things out, but we also get to play the Purator. So the main reason to play the Purator is that it draws two copies of Light Ray, which can be a 0 mana 5-5, five five, but we actually want Light Ray to be a 1 mana 5-5, five five, because then it helps us progress the quest. We also get to draw Sinful Sous Chef, which is probably our best 1-drop. Unfortunately, those are the only 1-mana minions we can draw with Curator, but we can also draw Myrmidon, which says anytime you cast a spell on this, you draw a card. So that means we can combine it with Holy Mackerel, which we're already playing because it's good for completing the quest, to draw up to 7 cards in the late game to hopefully help us find our Countess or whatever. I actually had pretty good results with this deck. I went 12 and 7, and it actually felt fairly powerful. Knight of Anointment is insane. I think Knight of Anointment's the best card in my deck. Myrmidon is probably the worst card in my deck. blood huh i did already grind one of these to dust i'll fucking do it again great draw Alright, two out of three. My turn here actually is terrible. I guess I'll mac your roll. Kinda feels bad getting rid of it when I have Myrmidon in hand, but... I do have another mac roll for the Myrmidon, and uh, I might just never need it. I could technically finish the quest next turn. If I draw Knight of Anointment, maybe I shouldn't have let that die there. I think I'm kind of down to play the Lawyer here. I think it's kind of a trash card in the matchup. And I really want this Light Ray to be a one drop. Another Vizier. That is a good draw. I don't actually... Hmm. I might not want to complete the quest this turn, because then I could get Theotard. I just don't really have Divine Shields for the Jewel Kit. Yeah, I just, I don't want to get Coin Theotard and instantly lose the game. And it fits the curve to just play the Recruit next turn anyway. Good carry all turn. Countess is probably a great draw as well. My hand is a little empty, so I wanted to hit... Uh, wanted to hit Countess, or Curator, or Macurol even. And I hit Countess, so that was great. 
Probably don't play her next turn. Probably don't play her until like turn nine because I want to keep using the hero power. But she's good to have. Oh, that is insane. But how insane is it? Nothing totally ridiculous. That's pretty strong, I guess. This takes a card from my hand. No, from my deck. Okay. I just... I always forget what this card does for some reason. Guess I'll whack you. Why not? Do I just go face? Do I care about... I guess I do this. I think the trades just don't really do anything for me. I guess I could have made them overdraw by killing Mind Eater and Blood Mage Thanos. But why that attack? Oh. I'm actually just losing to randomly generated cards. Well, I'm not actually losing, I don't think, but... They're staying in the game because of randomly generated cards. I do think if my draw is bad, I probably just play Countess, but if it's like anything playable, I would like to hero power. Playability of that is debatable. If they were an aggressive deck, I'd be in a really bad spot here, but there's just no way they have damage from hand. That's pretty strong. Oh god, what the hell is this? I guess I probably still have the breathing room to play Countess here. I actually don't even clear my board, huh? That's kind of pathetic. I do need these invitations to be good. What if I just hit two king crushes? That Astalor is probably the one card in their deck that has the potential to kill me, so... I don't love to see that. Face with the 4-2. I respect it so much. Uh, so I do have a bit of a combo here. I have Bannerman, Matriarch, which makes my hero power have Rush Divine Shield. That might be worth going for. That costs 7 mana, though. Pretty expensive. I'll start with one of these. You know, I think technically my hero power has unten damage, so it's kind of a scam that this doesn't work. Uh, Ikman summons Light Ray. That's kind of sick. It's probably just Nelly, though. Big damage. This draws one. Sure. Oof. Oops, attacked incorrectly, but I was getting roped, so I was kind of scared. I should have probably hit with this and left the Divine Shield on the ship. Okay, that's not Soul Stealer. Love to see it. 
Can still be blood boil though, which is a bummer. Okay. Annoying, but I have a pretty good reload here. Nubricon. Probably just want that because it gives me armor. Wow, these are really bad. Well, I guess the Nomaki roll is actually kind of insane later on. Oh, and there's the Mackie roll. Is there any way I can buff the no? Banner man? I wonder if South Sea Scoundrel can do anything silly. So I have 20 damage with the no, right? So I don't need to find much more. I could miss six of that damage to draw seven cards with Myrmidon. That might be worth going for at some point. Blood boil. I think I probably have lethal here. So their board only blocks one Steno shot. So they're at 32, Steno does basically 18. So Steno is super lethal. Drown. Alright, well, you can't ask for much more out of your Countess. She did 20 damage. And some other stuff before that, too. Love Susha. Normally, I would love a double Susha, but it doesn't line up super well with my current hand, at least. It is very good with the Light Ray, though, so... Oh, wow, we're up against Aggro. I don't- do I play the second sous chef here? I guess I just need to be on board against, uh, aggro DH. Even if the second sous chef is kind of stinky. What a disastrously bad opener for me. And what a terrible attack from the opponent. I don't know why they didn't just kill my sous chef and protect their minion summoner. But that's okay with me. If I draw any one drop next turn, I can go one drop, recruit, light ray, one dro or, uh, recruit. Pretty good for the quest. Pretty weak turn from the opponent here. And that is maybe the best draw on my deck. Eh, that's probably a bit of a stretch, but it was pretty good. Oh. That's fine. I had to play that. Right, I had to play that for Light Ray. Yeah, that was the plan going into this turn. I'm being dumb. Alright, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to complete the quest next turn unless I hit the Lest Goods or Knight of Anointment. But that's fine, because I'm winning on board.
best draw in my deck, I guess, is actually Curator. Because I can play that plus another Light Ray. Alright, well, any one drop other than Sanguine Soldier gets the job done, and I can play Cariel. Each scar, a foe vanquished. That's kind of annoying. Strike now. Strike now. That's very annoying. I don't know, I wasn't super likely to hit a 1-drop here, I guess. But as far as non-1-drops go, Curator was better, Buffet Biggin was probably better. Yeah, it was definitely better. Maybe War Horse Trainer as well. This is kind of scary. Still no Cariel, but Curator is extremely strong. At this point, I think I'm down to take this two damage. I've got some lethal draws. Uh, any one drop other than Sanguine Soldier is lethal. I believe War Horse Trainer is lethal. Maybe not now. Kind of a bad big in, but my opponent has no cards in hand, so I don't really see how this could go wrong. Unleash Fell, maybe. But I don't think my opponent's actually winning after casting Unleash Fell. Nice. Oh no. Oh god, what is this fucking hand? I think this is actually the worst possible hand. It's a good draw. Need a bit more spice over here. Your chef is not going to die, unfortunately. The Curator does still draw two, which is, you know, five minute four six taunt draw two is still pretty good, I guess. Go get him, recruits. Play your freaking thing. I'll set it to 1-1. One, one. Okay. Seems like that might have been an overreaction, but... I don't know, Warhorse Trainer is pretty scary. Wouldn't they have had more mana there? Oh no, the first bone spike didn't kill something, of course. Uh, okay, so... I mean, I just played Curator. 
And then I guess I go Protector, Sous Chef, Recruit, Light Ray, Light Ray. I'm actually somehow still doing pretty well. And that looks like a lawyer target. Oh, is it though? That's got to be a lawyer target, right? I love that shot going face. Well, I thought my hand was terrible, but it turns out it still had two light rays. And that card is really overpowered. Where are we at? I need to play three. I'm down to Knight of Anointment here. Mackerel is interesting. I think I hold the Mackerel. Potentially for Myrmidon. That's an insane minion. Uh, there's just no way I ever have lethal through this, right? burning the mackerel with Myrmidon in hand, but I think it's probably fine. Getting scabbed here would be kind of annoying, but I can at least just replay the light rays. I believe I have exact lethal at the moment with this warhorse trainer. No longer lethal. Where you followed. I think I just clicked the button, right? Well, could get scabbed this turn. It's pretty likely, I would say. I think I get both. Yeah, I definitely get both light rays in hand.
Oh, I actually can go Bannerman on uh, Blood Matriarch Leadrin, which gives my 1-1s, one or my uh, recruits, their powers, which is nice. I don't even really know if I need to play Leadrin here, but whatever. Kind of sick. Well, I played four taunts, so I don't think they'll be able to get through and kill me this turn. What is this? Okay. This is pretty nasty. This freaking death rattle minion is insane. Got to step on Tess. I'm actually just going to lose this game because they randomly generated this specific card. I think anything else I would be beating pretty easily. Unfortunate. This is a noble sack, right? My client has the heart of a Reporting for duty. Probably makes sense to run this into noble sack. I'll just play the Myrmidon here. I do have a Macca roll still. And the Knight of Anointment. But the Knight of Anointment only hits it one third of the time. You have no idea what I'm I do have another Lawyer for another Blightblood Berserker. Oh, that's good. I guess the test actually doesn't even do all that much. It's just this one thing that it does is pretty fucking annoying. How do they have another Finley? Hmm. I don't understand. But that's okay. I already forgot that was a noble sack. I'm real dumb. I think they were getting full lifesteal out of this thing anyway, though, so I guess it didn't really matter. Wow, they're kind of shooting me in the head, huh? This just got frozen, so I don't really need to deal with it this turn. I'll deal with it anyway, though. Alright, got myself six taunts here, kind of. So far, a lot of stuff I don't really care too much about, but they haven't actually spent that much mana yet. Were you followed? Okay, this secret might not be Noble Sacrifice. Uh, do I have lethal? Say it stops one attack. I have this, and then I have, what, 7-7, seven, 5-5-5. Seven, five, five, five. That's only 29. It's 
seed clod buckler is pretty tempting. But maybe I just want a righteous protector. Where do I want this attack to go? Maybe just this for uh, Judgment of Justice. Okay. It was a noble sack. Zero mana, huh? I am a little scared here. These 1-1s one are good at dealing with my taunts. Or at least some of my taunts. Uh, they could take the weapon here maybe and kill me? I guess not. Nelly has to be the least scary colossal here. I was mad, I guess. I think the scariest colossal was actually Gaia, which is a bit unusual. That card usually kind of sucks. They drew a zero mana card with what's it called, but they've played both preps, so it must have been a shadow step. Nice. 